Today, the Ogemaw County Processing Attorney, LaDonna Schultz, announced that Dr. E.J. Coomer of West Branch has been charged with three counts of health care fraud, one count of Medicare fraud, and four counts of intentionally placing false information on a chart by a health care provider. These charges stem from an investigation conducted by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the Office of the Inspector General, the Michigan Attorney General's Office, Blue Cross Blue Shield investigators, and the Michigan State Police. The investigation began in early 2015 and involved five physical therapy businesses owned, by, owned and operated by Dr. Kumar. Adapt Physical Therapy in West Branch, Prescott, and Rose City, and Agility Physical Therapy in Hale and St. Helen. Dr. Kumar appeared today before the Honorable Richard E. Noble for arraignment. Bond is set at $10,000 or 10% cash or surety. If convicted, Dr. Kumar faces up to four years in prison and or a fine of $50,000 on the health care and Medicare, excuse me, Medicaid fraud charges and up to four years in prison and or a fine of $5,000 on charges of intentionally placing false information on a chart by a health care provider. Ms. Schultz and I would like to remind everyone that Dr. Kumar is presumed innocent and is entitled to a fair trial. Thank you. Questions? Yeah, I have a question. Sure. Um, so what's going through your head now? Obviously the investigation's been going on for a long time. What's going through your head now that Dr. Kumar's been arraigned? Simply that Dr. Kumar is entitled to a fair trial. Um, we believe in the process and the process needs to take place. Um, it's really up to the prosecuting attorney and the court system to see it from this point forward. Okay. So what happens from here then? He has a couple of preliminary exam um, dates set up with the prosecutor's office and the court system. He'll be attending those and then they'll decide whether further uh, court dates are required. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything um, personally that I missed that's important that you wanted to add? No. Is he out on bond? He is out on bond, yes. Are these charges in any way related to the CSC charges um, that Dr. Kumar also faces? These charges are in no way related to the criminal sexual conduct charges that Dr. Kumar is facing. That particular case is pending a trial date later in August. These are not related. And has this in any way affected the patient that he's had? You know? I don't know. No idea. Do you know if his businesses are still open? I don't know. Okay. Um, can you say anything about what he's, what he's accused of doing? Uh, false documents to get money, if you can. No, I, okay. I can't comment on any of the okay. details of the investigation. So you said, how long has it been going on for? You said in 2015? Uh, the investigation began in January of 2015. And I mean, how does it feel now, the culmination, you know, almost, you know, close, not close to two years, but almost, you know, two it, years. It, it was a, a very long and in-depth investigation, a complicated investigation. Um, we're, we're pleased to be able to turn over to the prosecuting attorney's office and how the ball is in her court. Did you say what he could be facing or how many years? Yes, depending? for for Medicaid fraud and medi excuse me. For health care fraud and Medicare fraud, he's facing up to four years in prison and or a fifty thousand dollar fine. For the other charges, it's four years in prison and or a five thousand dollar fine. Can you comment on how you guys became aware of this? Did, did the insurance companies or Medicaid get a hold of you? I don't know. Okay. Anything else? We're good. All right. Yeah,